bunch of rulers and I love just this. basically glued them to the bottom of a tray. These are so inexpensive and this is so Look at easy. how great that looks. Gorgeous. And gives your tray some soul, some funk. We all need that yeah. when we're buying new stuff. Now, po the, the sticky paper, the, the post-it paper, I love working with this stuff. Basically, all of these circles were punched out with this little puncher, so you can do like 12 at a time. I'm not sitting here like this. Give me a break. Right. And with little sticky glue dots, you create a textural wall. It kind of looks like a wall of petals or flowers Beautiful. or feathers. And if you live in an apartment or you have a limited budget or it's a, a, even a dorm room to your first apartment, what a great idea. Because yes. you're not allowed to put you know, holes in, you can't put this, you can't put that. What a great, That's inexpensive a great way. And you can make it change seasonally. And this is adorable. The little leaves on the trees, did y'all see this? It's adorable. I mean, seriously, two cents. So it could be for your tabletop, you can put it in a large vase. And I love what you did with rubber bands from little accent balls to show them the chair. Super subtle, 20 bucks a chair, and I just gave it some shoes and a little hat with some color. Just the rubber is super durable. Adorable. And I love your light fixture as well. Now, fishing line, a 200 pound weight. I don't know if anybody fishes, but as you know, I'm from Minnesota. I know all that. It's, it's a little bit less uh, visible, but for this sake of the TV studio, we're using chain with a little bit of rubber and a little uh, battery powered candle. So easy to do it outdoors or indoors. Adorable. I mean, just a big old show off, this one. Adorable, but she's not gonna be outdone. Tanya is also brilliant, gorgeous, Hello. amazing. Oh my gosh, how many hands do you have, Genevieve, to get all those posts? I know, those right? I was a ninja. But I know, but, but it looks so the cool, place. It's right? It's adorable. I love what I'm seeing Thank here. You. Walk us through what okay. you do. Okay, well I wanted to go a little more sophisticated to show how school tools can actually look adult. Right. So we started off with the rulers, okay. and I painted them in alternating colors with the blue I and the gold. These. And love all I this. did was stick them with double stick heavy duty tape onto some fabric. And now we have these awesome place I mats. love that. And you know what I love about both scenes here? These are things that you would see out in retail stores and pay a fortune for. Right. You know, the little teacup candles, these uh, wooden uh, uh, rulers, runners yep. and, and placemats. These are things you see in the real world and you can make any of these for like no money. And you can customize them any way you want, which is really fun. Great. Okay, so I stole her circle puncher because they're I so cute. I love this. This you is so cool. You know what these are? Can I tell them? Tell them. These are globes. So I'm well, like above and beyond, even underneath my sticky notes at school tools. <laughs> so cool. So all we did here is we cut out a little hole in the bottom and on the top, dropped a little pendant light in through it. Dropped a little course, light fixture in. Yeah, awesome. You, you don't have to use a globe. You can use a plastic bowl or right, something right, right. like that. So I just layered them. That took me literally 10 minutes to do, and it's so cute. And you know, when I they love get my dusty lighting. or weird or whatever, you just peel them off and put more on. Yeah, it's and I, I, I went with this simple, simple light color. But you could do, imagine a group of these in a kid's playroom with all different colors, how fun awesome. that would be. Awesome. Adorable. Really clever. Okay, so I went back to my old high school days of anger, angry breakups, and that's what this was inspired by. Wow. <laughs> so this was crayons, and everyone has that bin of crayons that are broken. Right, and, right, right, you know, right, right. Don't know what to do with them, so just glue them onto canvas and use a hair dryer. And within one minute of blow drying the hair dryer, or blow, hair drying the um, crayons, it starts to drip. So it's I just, so cool! It was so fun. I was like, I mean, the hair dryer was so noisy. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I was so like bouncing that out of my so seat doing awesome. it. It's fun, isn't it? And then you just sprayed on the words. I mean, this yes. is so punk. This is, it is awesome. It's, it's going back and to I the love, 80s, which yeah. is my era. <laughs> me, me too. Me too. Yeah. So I love the mix of punk and this funky, sophisticated. Yes. It's really great. Really great. So I did do rubber bands as well. And right. what I did was I wrapped them around the glass and I wanted to go chic and elegant. So by wrapping them down on the lower part and leaving the top part so that you can still sip your wine out right. of it and then spray painting it with some gold paint, you get this really elegant, Gorgeous. pretty glass. Again, <laughs> very clever and you see lots of stuff like this out at retail for a lot of money. Right, I wanted to save the best for last. My, some people say eye cat, some say e cut. These chairs were inspired by that sort of tribal looking stencil design. And all I did was create one template design and I used the marker and I just drew right onto the Right chairs. on the plain fabric chair.
This is really so cool. Fun. Now, normally in a tip-off, I ask the audience to vote on who won, but I, I have a feeling that they're both going to get a lot of applause. Uh, who, who's down with Genevieve? <laughs> down with Tanya? <laughs> I, say, I say they're both awesome.